Welcome to KOEM Presents, a podcast produced by KOEM News Now and the four states' most watched news team. If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named a 2018 CareCheck's number one hospital in market and top 10% hospital in state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Welcome back. The last, the final episode, episode 10. It has been a run. We made it to it 10. Is, <laughs> it's, we're just talking. <laughs> we're like, we, you know, we first started going into it. We we're like, oh yeah, just do a podcast and yeah. we mentioned i think in the last episode it you know it's a lot involved but a lot of work we're here a lot of work we're here we've made it and we've had a blast doing it and as we'll talk about later we're gonna keep doing it <laughs> in some form or fashion maybe not with doug um obviously I'd like to thank our sponsors freeman health system derailed commodity grand lake casino and uh all of you guys thank you guys for listening and watching for some of you who have the koam plus app Today we're what? Why haven't there a special guest today? Why aren't we supposed to have a special guest? Our special guest is, is she's always special to us. She's mm -hmm. off to the side. She might interject, you know, some comments here and there. So did she not want to be on the podcast? <laughs> I mean, what happened? <laughs> I'm real confused. What happened, Stacy? What happened, Stacy? Didn't want to be on the podcast? Kind of too good looking to me. Oh my god. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She she doesn't want to be in front of the camera. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We need her help on the history of of <laughs> memes and KOM uh events i guess <laughs> but she'll interject you know she's she's here in our hearts she's on camera in our hearts um but yeah so today we're going to talk about koem your experience with koem kind of outside of weather it's funny we're ending behind the weather not okay. talking about weather so we're like going behind behind yeah so yeah. like you know you have like i said been here for a while what are some of your bit. do you have favorite memories or do they all kind of blur together as far as like your time on air, because I mean, how many, how many casts do you do? Is it four day? Four day. Four day. So I mean, there has to be some good stories, or I mean, is there anything that just kind of sticks? Out? I mean, when you think about your time, like during a uh, a newscast, like is there anything that kind of jumps out at you? Um. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's been several things, but the the biggest one that really sticks out is um, when I went to the bathroom. It was during a, a Fox newscast, so it was when Olmstead was anchoring. And I think this is like 2012. I mean, it's been about 10 years yeah. ago. And I, you know, we do so many newscasts, these blocks kind of run together and all. And I, I thought weather was like five minutes away, but it was like a minute away. So I went down, I went to the bathroom and, you know, and uh, just taking my time. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? And then somebody was like, well, you're supposed to be on air. I'm like, what? So I, I come back down and Olmstead's doing the weather. <laughs> and thankfully we didn't have anything really, it was in the middle of the summer. It was just like heat advisors, but he was doing the weather. And I came down and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm doing your job. <laughs> and then we kind of bantered back and forth, but I, I still see it pop up on YouTube every now and then. But that was, um, one of my bigger mistakes really? that I've made. Did you think he was joking? Like when you came in, you're yeah, like. Yeah, I was really confused because I was like, I mean, I was only in the bathroom for 45 seconds. Yeah. And I was like, oh, what happened here? Where did this derail? <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that was one of my funnier on air moments. Yeah. I, I think behind the scene, um, we've always kind of been like a a little bit of a family, so mm -hmm. uh, we grill a lot. Yeah, which is, I yeah. mean, we, we like to grill. We used to grill quite a bit whenever yeah. I was a news assistant. I think one of my favorite meals is we did salmon uh -huh. and like green beans and stuff, and we went yeah. all out. Yeah, we don't mess around. I grilled for the station last Friday. Really? Mm -hmm. um, Glad that you still do it. Yeah, I like to. We, we could have an upgrade at our grill. That, <laughs> I mean, our. <laughs> The grill's falling apart oh, a little bit. Oh, interesting. But I'm the only one who uses it. Yeah. So it's like, oh. But um, no, so I mean, we, we do a lot of stuff. We sit around, chat, you know, especially like there's a lot of times like Dow and, um, you know, of course, Leonard were huge uh, sports fans. Yeah. Especially Chiefs fans. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, Sunday night games or Thursday night games or Monday night games. So we have to kind of congeal as a, 
a group as a fan base and trying to put out newscasts, but also at the same time, how are we supposed to watch this game? You're keeping an eye yeah. on it. You know, we have a lot of screens in here. I we mean, do. I don't know what, this was whenever I was a new assistant, so years ago, and I think it might have been right when we got the monitor. We had a game up in between newscasts. Yep. Obviously still doing our jobs, you know, the, the full extent. <laughs> but we just were keeping an eye on it, you know, because it is, you know, we like to keep an eye on our, on our teams, things yeah. like that. Yeah. So that, that is one thing that, uh, as being a huge sports fan, that is a drawback working there and, you know, oh, some games Oh, most and definitely. Because, I mean, you still have to do your normal job in the evening, and there's a lot of games in the evening. Well, Especially I, I remember um, – Last football season, it was the Chiefs are playing the Chargers. Mm -hmm. It's Thursday night, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then the Chiefs got the ball right at the end. And if they drove down the field to tie it, we were going to go to overtime. Yeah. Weather started. <laughs> so I'm up there during weather for three minutes and 15 seconds. And I kind of go on autopilot. I have no idea what's coming out of my mouth. I'm just talking because I'm sitting here thinking, I wonder if they're at the 40-yard line yet, or maybe they made it to the 50, or maybe we had to punt the ball. And then I got done with the weather, and we'd scored. So we <laughs> went into overtime. So, I mean, it's the drama. It goes so high. Yeah. <laughs> so. And you're still just here. No one knows the difference. Yeah. You know, hopefully they're watching, or they might have two screens, watching the weather and then watching the game. Mm -hmm. And then you guys have done over the years, and this is before my time, stuff – outside of the station, but still part of KOM, like uh, like the weather tours. Yeah. That, like I said, was kind of before, but like, I mean, how long did you guys do those? Gosh, so those were, those became big. We called it the Skywatch weather tour. Okay, yeah. Those became big um, late 90s when Dan Bickford was the chief here. Mm -hmm. So those became huge. And then I started in 02 and it, I mean, I was barely in the door and they're like, so you got to start preparing Skywatch weather tour. And I was like, I got to do what? <laughs> and I mean, it was this huge elaborate show where we would go to auditoriums around, you know, the, the region like Chanute or Nevada yeah. or Pittsburgh. And there'd be thousands of people there. And this is, I mean, before really internet and all that. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess the internet was here, but you know, big social media and all. And it would just be educating about severe weather. So was it just like school kids or it was yeah. everybody? It was it everybody. Was, yeah, it was for the general public. And then, you know, it, it kind of ran its course. Yeah. So by 06 or 07. And then, then we started doing um, just the schools. Yeah. So we had this big elaborate thing. And then um, when the Joplin tornado hit, it kind of nixed it because we had so many other things going on mm -hmm. nobody could put any time to it and we haven't done it since and i'm okay with that because it was a <laughs> ton of well work. yeah that's all I mean, I mean by the time you get out there and you you know give your yeah. spiel and everything like that oh man i mean it was so much work because we we would have our engineers like keith frobish back oh in the yeah day. he'd mm -hmm. be making like wind machines and tornadoes i mean it's really cool stuff but you know it's kind of a 90s thing it's kind of a yeah. 2000s thing so those kind of presentations yeah. i remember uh, like what was it a uh, like mcgruff like the crime dog i don't know if that's still a thing no i, don't, I remember stacy was that a, she, back in my she, day, oh, yeah. she, she speaks <laughs> she okay speaks. so what <laughs> McGruff the crime dog. Yeah, I yeah. remember McGruff. It's like things like that that I don't know if like they're I keep still picturing happening. Picturing Clifford but though. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> different color. He doesn't have the jacket. You know, that's so funny. Um, well, we're gonna take a quick break. Speaking of funny, we're gonna talk about the Doug Heady memes. Oh, There's a lot of wonderful. them. We're only gonna go to a few. All right. Get your take on it, <laughs> and then uh, we'll talk about what's coming up. So, cool. Stick around. Be right back. At Grand Lake Casino, you get more points, more free play, and better rewards. Play at the casino where friends play. Grand Lake Casino, Highway 10 north of Grove, Oklahoma. Check them out online at grandlakecasino.com. Spring is the perfect time of year to freshen up your home, whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or want to leave the work to someone else. One of our professionals can help you select some great flooring or furniture to give your house that new home feel. Just imagine coming home to that fresh new carpet smell or melting into a new recliner or sofa after a long day. We'll even help you sleep better with our complete line of mattresses. Open the drapes and let the sunshine in and swing by for big savings at your nearest derailed commodity. Welcome back again. You guys, I'm not saying you missed a whole lot in the break. We we're covering 
Uh, we got everybody. Nick, Nick is uh, um. giggling back there. We're covering, you know, talking about memes um, that Doug Hetty has a fair about himself. And one of the first ones we were going to cover, and we'll put it up if you are listening. Check us out on YouTube or the KOM Plus app, and I'll throw it up on the screen. I'll try my best to explain it to you. But for Bob Ross, for whoever doesn't know, is the painter. It was on, I think, PBS, something like that, uh, for a long time. And someone put Doug's face on Bob Ross, and he's painting the forecast instead of painting the, uh, painting the weather. So... It's a great meme, but I did not but know who Bob he, Ross was. But he was. doesn't know who Bob Ross <laughs> It's a little loss to Doug. Uh, and then we got talking about childhood shows and Mr. Rogers. You yeah. did watch Mr. Rogers. I did. But Stacy, our producer, she did not watch Mr. Rogers. So. I, I was always mainly, sadly, I was watching the Weather Channel. I wasn't watching PBS. <laughs> you actually would have the Weather Channel. Oh, yeah. My sister and I, we would fight every day after school on who gets the remote control. In fact... I was pretty smart as a kid, because she was two years older, and I can't tell her I'm saying this story. I convinced my sister that, you know, because back then in the 90s, the remote control, you know, had the red laser. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, if I point this at you, it'll shock you. <laughs> so you better give me the remote control. And then I threatened her, if you tell mom and dad, I'm going to shock you. And this went on for like two years. So I got like two, I missed all of Bob Ross because I was watching the Weather Channel. <laughs> the Weather Channel. Isn't that awful? That is hilarious. How, what was the, what's the age difference between you and your? We're, we're 18 months. So a year and a half. She was, eight, <laughs> she was a year and a half older. She and was two have, grades above me. And you had her convinced. Oh yeah. That is so funny. Oh God, I tormented her. Oh. That, was a, that was a good childhood. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, we always look back fondly. My sister picked on me all the time, you know, and uh, it's builds character. It yeah. does. And that's that, what they say. Uh, Bob Ross one, created by Kale in 2012. By, yeah, by uh, one of our past employees back in 2012, claimed by Miss Stacy here that it was the, the original Doug Hetty meme. But there has been several since then. There's another one that hopefully, this, I'm assuming this is safe to show on. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a lot of skin, but a live photo well. of, <laughs> of Doug roundhousing a tornado in the face. So it's like someone... I'm going to be willing to bet those are not my legs. No, I don't think so. If they were my legs, I'm in pretty good shape. <laughs> but Yeah, it's someone kicking in yeah. jean shorts a tornado away from... We with, only, the, with the Daisy Dukes on? Yeah, the Daisy yeah, Dukes away from the Forbes, yeah. Forbes State area. And this one, you know, I probably won't say... I'll say dang. But <laughs> <laughs> that, that for some, 70s show. Yeah, one. that 70s show for whoever watched that show. Um, it's a clip for when they say, well, dang, Jackie, I can't control the weather. But, but is it dang, Jackie? It's not dang. <laughs> but just for, you know, for <laughs> anybody listening, we're going to keep it PG here. But it says Joplin. Mm -hmm. I can't control the weather. And again, I'll put all these up on, a, on YouTube and our OTT app. Uh, what's another? This one is my personal favorite. And it says, I want someone to look at me like Doug Hetty looks at his radar. <laughs> and if you guys watch Doug's streams, sometimes when he's looking real intense at the radar, he'll kind of like purse his lips a little bit. And it's a very intense look. And apparently... I, I have a good relationship with the radar. So, I mean, <laughs> we're pretty close. We're pretty so. close. It's a close relationship. So, yeah. And then uh, the last one I wanted to show you was, it looks like pretty much Knight's of the of the round table yeah. and talking about all the areas you know obviously there's some border war you know kansas and missouri sometimes <laughs> we have our differences and oklahoma is in there too well but it what's funny i mean the reason these all start up is because i mean as we've talked about past episodes i'll kind of snap back at people mm -hmm. but sometimes there's some out there questions i mean yeah. you know that are but it, i've noticed a lot of times that a lot of people they're scrolling, so they see a picture, and then they start typing. They don't read what I write. Oh, no. You know, so they're actually asking the question that's answered right above. So, you know, people notice that, and then they start making memes. Yeah, and there's so. people, they have two people back you up. You know, if someone's being, you yeah. know, all the area, they kind of gang oh, yeah. up. And, but, I mean, that's just a few of them. Like, so yeah. it's, I don't know, how does it make you feel that you kind of have this following that's, even got to a, a meme status. It's pretty cool. I like the memes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's interesting. I mean, that really just speaks to 
you know, just to recap everything, the impact you've had, you know, on the community and like you know, how much people, no pressure, but they rely, you know, they rely on the Nick, you know, you and Nick providing for the community. And I just think it's really cool. It is, no, it, it really is. And I, I mean, I've been here so long that I know the viewers, they rely on me, but I also, I feel like, you know, if we have severe weather coming in on a Saturday, mm -hmm. I got to take care of them because I, you know, it's, it's a mutual bond here. Yeah. So, you know, they back me up, I back them up. So everybody's a, yeah. a team. Uh huh. But, uh, so I like it. I, like I mean, it. with that, I mean, that's pretty much all we got. I don't know okay. if you have any parting words for people. We have a couple, talk about some teasers and some stuff, but no, I, man, we've covered a lot. We have, I mean, we were talking about in one of our last uh, meetings, another one of our producers, we're like we we tried to cover the whole gambit of things right. and we got some questions we got to cover a few of them um we love when people can you know interact with you and interact with us but um i mean thank you i guess <laughs> la lastly we have to thank Absolutely. obviously for doing this but we're not done yet we're gonna keep doing this we, uh, now we, you got dow coming yeah that's we got green lit to do another series uh coming up the title is a work in progress. We're not gonna, you know, spoil anything yet. But what I can tell you is we're doing a six episode series of this season, um, and we'll be doing it sometime in early June. So look forward to that. We might have a couple of little special episodes here and there, kind of sprinkled in. Dal's been here since 1980. Yeah, I think he's been here some. I mean, I was I was one. And I'm old. <laughs> I, I was but a twinkle in my dad's eye, as they say. So way before my time. And I mean, we're going to have a blast and kind of figure out how we're going to present a lot of good stories to you guys yeah, and talk good. about the four state area for a long time through behind the desk, you know, if you will. So <laughs> <laughs> we have behind the weather, behind the desk. Who knows? Um, but lastly, thanks again. Huge thanks to our sponsors. Freeman Health System, Derailed Commodity, Grand Lake Casino, they've been instrumental in helping us you know, get this off the ground. Um, they each have their own respective websites, freemanhealth.com, grandlakecasino.com, and derailedcommodity.com. Go ahead and check them out. They have you know, some great services to provide. Absolutely. Um, well, the last big thanks to Stacy Strader, one of our digital content producers, and Amanda Salgado, um, one of our other producers that was instrumental in helping us kind of figure out where to take this thing. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Hopefully you uh, hit share, um, subscribe, follow all of those different things. Check Doug out on Facebook and YouTube. Got his YouTube channel Instagram, going strong. Twitter. All of the things. Oh, yeah, that's one thing we needed because May is coming. If you guys don't know, we're streaming on the KOM YouTube. So if you haven't yep. subscribed yet, you're going to be missing out. Going to miss so. out. We have two YouTube channels, the, U the KOAM News Now, and then we have Doug Hetty, Meteorologist. Um, and I don't Nick, does... I don't know. Nick, are you doing YouTube yet? So we have yeah. Nick on okay. YouTube as well. So make sure to check all that out. Again, thank you guys so much. Might be a little break before we have another episode up on here, but we'll see you then. If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named a 2018 CareCheck's number one hospital in market and top 10% hospital in state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Thank you for listening to KOAM Presents. For the latest content in local news, weather, and sports, please go to koamnewsnow.com.